Now we have our Mahatma Moral President, Scott Stringman. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I, I am very proud to be here with elected officials who truly represent the community. Very proud to stand here today with our great council member, Idanis Rodriguez. Give a big round of applause, Idanis Rodriguez. And someone who's moving on up, Senator Espeat, let's give a round of applause. And our great friend, Assembly Member Linares, give him a big round of applause. And it takes a coalition of people to do this kind of work. Tish James is here from Brooklyn. Thank Jessica Lappin is here as well with her special assistant. <laughs> and, I am, and I am proud to be here as a son of Washington Heights. Growing up in this community back in the 70s, I remember very clearly that there was a time when people did not want to invest in Washington Heights That's and in Wood. Right. Developers didn't want to come here. Banks didn't want to come here. Speculators didn't want to come here. Land that was here was left to pioneers who moved into this community and built the daycare centers That's and right. the schools and the quality of life. And all of you were so successful in building this community mm -hmm. that now the pressure is for people to come here and displace the people who built up this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We have to say, no, we are here to stay in our community, and that's why we need an affordable housing plan for Washington Heights and Inwood. That's why we need that. Si se puede, si se puede, si se puede, si se puede, si se puede. I want to commit to all of you today, as not just a son of Washington Heights, but a borough president for this great borough of Manhattan that I'm gonna work with you to navigate community-based planning, working with the community board, working with the elected officials. You know, when communities come together, and as Idana said, plan and collaborate with the city, we can accomplish great things. Not just for this site, but what Washington Heights and Inwood is going to look like a generation from now. Figuring out the balance so that people can afford to live here, and that our commercial businesses could continue to thrive in this community. That is the balance we have to get if Washington Heights and Inwood is going to be successful for all the young children who will be born and raised here, who will play here, who will grow up today. You know, this community is a great, diverse wonderment. It always has been. We've always come from different places. We've always been able to negotiate and navigate with people who may look differently than ourselves. This is a great place to raise families. This is a great place to bottle the diversity that we have. And I promise that I will work with each and every one of you to create a plan right here that make all of us proud. So thank you. And, and today, as borough president, only I can do this, by the way, as Senator Espiat just told me this, to, 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 to christen this location, borough presidents get to do this, and what are we going to call it? Park View Apartments. Park View Apartments. Park I so, View Apartments. I, <laughs> we so declare. Thank you, muchas gracias. And do you want to translate or you want me to speak Spanish? I can, I can translate. Are you sure? Hablo <laughs> español. <laughs> do you want me? I want to do it. I want to do it. Perdóname, he will not let me translate. All right. <laughs>